What's up, everyone? It is time officially getting things underway with the Bad Medicine Arcade. And as promised, I am kicking things off with none other than Hogwarts Legacy. Now, if you're new to the gaming channel, well, that's pretty much everybody as this is a brand new undertaking for Bad Medicine. Real quick background on us started our reaction channel. We had it going for about a year, put out a poll to see what everybody wanted us to watch. All eight Harry Potter movies came up. I was a little bit skeptical after the first two started coming around after Prisoner of Azkaban. Goblet of Fire really piqued my interest and by the end of Order of the Phoenix, I was officially hooked. Harry Potter, one of my favorite series of all time now. You guys have seen my personal arc on my Harry Potter journey from the first movie all the way up to the very last. Of course, we went on to watch all the Fantastic Beast movies on Bad Medicine. I started doing the audio books so we could talk about them on our live uh, streams that we're doing. So needless to say, I went from thinking that Harry Potter was all kid stuff to absolutely loving it again debut of our Bad Medicine gaming channel for me, and we are doing nothing other than Hogwarts Legacy. Now, it's been a minute since I have played on Xbox. We're doing this on Xbox Series 1, or Series X. Uh, I was always a PS4 uh, kind of guy. Um, so this is a little bit new for me, but we are starting totally, totally fresh. Um, so this is it. We're just going to get things underway. Here is my official letter from Hogwarts. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under age 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizir Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle or the start of term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours tr truly, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. All right, here it is. Oh, I am so excited. Let's go. All right, presets. All right, so we're going to go through this and uh, we are going to make a character. Wow, this is uh, this is uh, the the whole deal, isn't it? Okay, I am going to, let's see, should I make somebody who looks more like myself or? Uh, let's take a look here. I think I'm going to say back when I had hair, <laughs> this was probably uh, the closest resemblance there was to me. So we're going to go with this. Uh, this guy right here. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay. All right. All right, let's do face shape. Actually, I like the face shape. Skin color is pretty spot on also. Uh, I don't have glasses. Oh, hairstyle. Let's see. Let's see if they have the... Uh, the old center part, probably not. Oh, what's what's the closest to where I would be at? Eh, that's kind of that's kind of me when I was a little younger. Um, uh, let's see. Oof! I wish I had hair like that. You know what? I think that this right here is probably the closest to to what I looked like. So I wonder, do they have, they have glasses, skin color? No, I was pretty, I was pretty pale. I didn't know if they allowed you to do uh, not freckles, but uh, you know what? We'll go with that. All right, hairstyles, we're good. Complexion, freckles and moles. Oh, you guys gotta bear with me here. I am all Okay, let's see. I used to have freckles a little bit when I was young. Um, 
that's pretty freckles. And I only had a little bit of freckles. So we're, we're going to back that off a little bit. They allow me to have a little more. There we go. Perfect. Scars and markings. Uh, I had an eyebrow scar. I have a lot of scars, actually. Um, mostly on my head, though. Nothing too, too visible. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with no scars. Nothing, nothing here really matches um, what's, uh, what suits me. Eyebrow shape. Uh, actually, the eyebrows that are on there are pretty much perfect. Eye color. My eye colors are blue. Blue eyebrow color. Pretty, pretty spot on. You know what? I think my hair color. Did I? Uh, we got to go a little lighter. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. A little lighter. All right. Wow, they give you the customization here, I think is really awesome. This is so cool. And the, the face looks like so realistic. That was probably most like me. God, it's just awesome. Eyebrow color. Should we make that match? Uh, there we go. Finalize your character. A few cobwebs and some dust. That's what it, was about. <laughs> it was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Oh, I love it. Uh, A few cobwebs and that was quite something. Uh, what? 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 I'm eager to get dog. That was quite something. I've always had a deep voice. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing uh, to be we'll concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to. Help all right. All right. Um, you know what? Uh, I think we, we had discussed this and I think we are going to, uh, just go with normal. Um, first name, there's only one thing I can do here, guys. We'll, we'll do the Appleton. Oak. <laughs> I'm going to be Mr. Oak here. All right. Here we go. Dormitory. All right. We are going to be a wizard. I think that's everything, guys. That, uh, that kind of looks like me when I was about 17 years old. So not quite 12, but... Well, he's a fifth year, so that would be... Yeah, okay. Looks about right. Start your journey. Let's go. Oh, my hair looks a little green there. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly. Oh, the graphics morning. here You'll are be forced to be reckoned with when you get your own. The graphics here are incredible. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Whoa, who's this now? <laughs> Eleazar, George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. Oh, wow. It's been much too long. My hair looks so green. Well. You know what? We're going to go with that. Speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Old pile of rocks. Uh-oh. What's that look? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is really, really cool. I gotta say, it's... Um, I'm, I'm used to playing, like... 
Call of Duty and, and Battlefront. So um, uh, some of the other games that have story mode, obviously the graphics are, are always pretty incredible during story mode. But this is really next level. And so I'm just going to let everything play out here. Um, I think that's probably probably best uh and as opposed to skipping anything because i really want to get the full experience the full experience here so again i'm going to not skip anything normally stuff like this i would kind of pass through but oh this is, <laughs> this is a little this is a little trippy just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. Oh, are they going to say it? They're going to say it? I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, nah, it is a bit of a late start. I've been honing their magical skills for four years now. The headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? A goblin rebellion. Truth or uh, gobble gook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Opinions vary. It's the old Though Dalton. I to convince my colleagues at the ministry. Whoa, whoa, what's that? He is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? God, the skin texture is just is just crazy. So much detail. The ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ah, do I, can I see things that they can't see? Oh, it's glowing, all right. But Whoa. Oh, 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 that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, our flying carriage just got taken out by a massive, massive dragon. Oh, boy. Not good. Oh, wow. Just stellar graphics. Oh! Oh, there goes that. Okay, so uh, we are all in a free fall. There goes the key. No, no, no. Oh. I love red squirrels. You You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will rot you in a second. Okay. Uh, down to heal. All right. What happened? Good as new. George. I can't believe you. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir. Where are we? 
I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We have no idea who created this port key. Or why. All right, just getting a little bit, a uh, little bit familiarized with the controls here. Right is to look around. Left is to move. All right. Oh, this is crazy. How far did that ball key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travel. We're somewhere in the sky. Yeah, this definitely is not Hogwarts. The port key was meant to lead us, sir. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. This is really cool. It feels... Right and mind kind of feels like I'm in a new movie, to be honest. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path. However faded it may be. Oh, I think there's kind of a path right there, isn't there? Mind your step. Uh, Where do you suppose your wife got the pool key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost in time. <laughs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came Just trying to get a feel for the controllers and everything. I'm certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, that's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. All right, it's gonna tell me how to tell me how to use my wand. Oh, hang on. There we go. Gotta focus on the center. There we go. Look at me. I'm a regular. I'm a wizard. All right. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okay, we'll do this for right now. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Okay, highlighted items. Are we supposed to uh supposed to be doing something with those? No? All right. I'm also a little bit... I might have to adjust my uh, my controller. I'm used to um, inverted looking up and stuff like that from, from Call of Duty. So right now my controller is set where up is up and down is down. So it's a little different for me. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, 
Oh, windy. It's crazy feeling the resistance in the controller. Oh, look at that. He's fixing the bridge. Reparo Oculus. That's the one I remember. Hermione fixing Harry's glasses. This is a heck of a start to the start to the game. These graphics are incredible. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That privacy led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. See, I'm curious as to Okay, the mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Toggle and hold for quest objective details. Okay. I like how it makes you hold it for a second. That way, uh, that way you don't actually tap something. And it's interesting that they have these containers. All right. No, are they gonna let me climb up here? I gotta climb up this way. All right, little confused here. Oh, there we go. Gotta investigate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to go into settings real quick, guys. Nope. Uh, settings. Controller vibration. Invert. Along the x-axis. x-axis up and down right not that right no Wrong axis. All right, we'll try that again. All right, X axis on, Y axis off. Try this now. There we go. Right is right, left is left, down is up, up is down. All right, now I am good. All right, let's take a look here. It's, I wonder if there's something to uh, jump on these things. <laughs> look, at, look at that. I can tumble. All right, this is curious. So it's just saying up. <laughs> you have to have to excuse me. Still getting a little used to this. Okay, so it's saying I need to go this way, but up. Okay, so how do I get up? My guy, the professor, is just standing there. What do you think, Professor? What do we got going on here? 
Try some magic. I don't know what exactly is going on here. <laughs> he spins around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to explore a little bit and see if there's a way up. There's got to be a way up and around. All right. Here we go. That's better. I knew there had to be a way up and around. the nice stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig? What do you think, guys? Should I wand it? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. Oh, he doesn't like see it. Again, like the glow on the pork key container. Professor of Port Keter Mulker. Alright. What in Merlin's name? Whoa. Uh oh, now I gotta start. wake the goblin. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Now my hair doesn't look so green, does it? Just looks like a nice, nice shade of blonde. <laughs> uh, oh my god, the, just the detail of this is incredible. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Here we go. We're at Gringotts. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. Precisely. The key. Mm -hmm. The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. S this way, then. So the port key was the key to Gringotts? Stay close. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to give us like the uh, the first person kind of like 3D ride through Gringotts. Uh, keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> no seatbelts? Oh, we are getting like that, that first per well. Close to first person view. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Our oh, this is so cool. Common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Oh, that's cool how the track. It's almost like a. Like a gimbal, like gyro system or something, where the tracks are are spinning, but they're um they're staying upright. That is so cool. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number twelve was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go.
vault number. This guy doesn't look so nice, does he? Twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> uh, on your way. wondering about that goblin back then. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. It's really interesting just how much storytelling there is here as opposed to gameplay. And I don't know if it's going to continue like this or if it's, it's kind of, it's almost like you're watching a, a movie and then being interactive, um, which is when was the last time this vault was accessed, which is different. Been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault Twelve. Oh wow! Until today, first time. If that makes sense, though, like uh, you know, usually you have a little bit of story mode, then it's gameplay, then a little bit of story mode to kind of develop, and this feels like it's a it's a really strong mix as of yet. Between back and forth between the um, the story and, and the gameplay. Also, I don't know if it stays this way the whole way or. But it's it's curious the way they've done it because it kind of feels like you're you're playing alongside in a movie. I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault Twelve indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Oh, Professor. Uh, they don't know what they're getting into. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Do I get to Let's cast see this what one? We're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with L and guide along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Okay. Now, do I have to do that every time I cast it or just... And try again. Okay, I happened upon a strange. Okay. Now close that. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Right, the let's go. We're going to take a look here. Oh. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Ready? 
Oh, see over there on my right, it's saying it's got the uh, at least the uh, the instructions to cast a spell. Oh, there we go. What happened? Uh oh. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. Who, who's fine. this now? You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I right there. A statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Should I try revealing it again? I presume this is what you there it is. In the floor. All right. Now I'm getting the hang of it. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. Steady wand at the L and guide along the symbol's path to learn the spell. All right, now I know how to do Lumos. You've acquired a wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the top of the wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay, so I have a spell set. Um, hold RT and tap Y. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. Does follow the light. Revelio. Okay, so Revelio is still okay. All right, so Revelio is going to be just left on my pad. If I hold my right trigger, it's going to give me options for other spells. Okay, like Lumos. Lumos. Okay, and when I cast a different spell, obviously my light has to go, go dark. Discover the statue's secret. Uh, let's take a look. Uh oh, what's this now? Oh, whoa. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. stupefy all i know is i'm doing oh oh he got me how do i do tap rt to destroy statues with a basic cast okay i did stupefy i don't know how i did i don't know. i have no idea how i did stupefy professor professor fake Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Okay, should we do... Lumos. Oh, there we go. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna follow those. I have no idea where Fig is. And my map isn't really telling me anything, but... There we go. Oh, 
Another one of these guys? Lupus. Alright, we're gonna cast Revelio. Yeah, I was gonna say. This is not good. What's this over here? Huh, interesting. See that? What is that? Lumos. I need to align these statues with their reflections. What was in the chest? <gasps> Nothing? Alright, we're going to go back to where the statue was. Uh, align them with their reflections. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Alright, I got this guy up. Now I'll get this guy up. Ah, how do I get them all to stand at once? Ah, they keep kneeling. How do I? Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once? Oh, okay. Right in the middle. I like how they're kind of giving me, giving me clues. Okay, that gets that guy to stand. And okay, now I got those two up. Ah. Jackpot. Fight my way out of there. there we go. Now I got all three of them up. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, how do I do protection again? Hold Y during Protego. Okay, continue. Hold Y during Protego. Okay. All right, so now it's kind of like a battle. I get what's going on here. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a bunch of them. All right, so this is... Oh. Okay. All right, so this is like a fighting game. All right, I see where we're going here. All right, this is more fighting than I thought I was going to actually have. Oh, shh. I got to get out of the way here. Bro's coming at me from everywhere. Jesus, there's a lot of these guys. What is going on here? Oh. Oh, how many of these do I got to get? Oh, Jesus. No, not Loomis. What is going on here? Oh. Rough. Okay. 
All right, so this turned into a giant battle, uh, which I wasn't ready for because uh, a little bit of uh, just kind of walking around to begin with. Um, I'm not really sure. Hold Y during Protego to stun your enemies with the Superfly attack. Okay. Um, but Protego was... All right, so basically, I just okay, hold to Protego. All right, I gotta figure out how to. Run, run, run. I gotta figure out how to run is what I gotta figure out first. How many of these guys I got coming after me? This is gonna take me a few tries. At least, at least, <laughs> at least it keeps me right here. We're gonna try again. Bear with me, guys. I'm gonna uh, hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with Superfy. So I'm pressing Y to do Protego. Okay, so I gotta be careful not to. Yeah, I know that. I gotta stay away from these guys. Okay, so these guys are. This is tricky because these guys will do almost like. Oh man. How many of these guys do I gotta take on? Oh god, I'm getting worked. Yeah, thanks. Oh man, you can't. It doesn't. Feels like you can't run either. They just keep coming. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, we're gonna try again. Hold Y during Protego. All right. So Revelio doesn't do anything. Oh, see. I wonder if I get a turn. Where you. Like, right now it's doing. Uh, like, I got a turn and target. So I wonder if I change that in the, um, in the settings. I know they had said something earlier where when you. It's a, the same motion to turn and. And lock on to people if that makes sense. So right now I'm turning. It's like a separate like lock on once I turn. Yeah, they're they're working me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try that once I think. Cause a little. I'm not sure if that's gonna help me at all. We'll try though. All right. Is this controller? All right. Uh, hold active spell set. Tap basic cast actions. Dodge roll. Oh, dodge roll. All right. 
I forgot I have that. Jump, dodge, roll. Okay, settings. Camera relative targeting. Selects active targets of the camera. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this just to see. Don't notice much of a difference, to be honest. I don't like that it does that. How many of these dudes I gotta take on? Oh, this dude came in and... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know if I'm doing that or what. There's a lot of guys here. <laughs> oh, shoot. I, yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, review my objectives while I'm trying to, trying to fight. I think I'm accidentally hitting something. Shoot. Oh. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, I think I got a little bit better hang of it. You see the guy ready to attack. I don't like that. Oh, man. Why does it? I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm pressing that it keeps doing that. All right, I'm going to go back to the, the camera the other way. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, we're going to try this um, back the other way real quick. Um, camera relative targeting. Selects active targets of the camera. I see. Okay. All right. Oh, man. I don't like that. It's it's a little tricky to uh to figure out the uh Yeah, I don't know why that keeps happening. Man, I got to get better at figuring out when they're going to do that shoulder roll thing. Yeah, this is definitely not, you know, I know I have it on normal and not uh, not beginner or anything. But even for being on normal th this early in the game, this feels like it's pretty challenging. And with the way, I don't know if there's a way to... I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't know if there's a way to, uh, ah, this is rough. Um, I don't know if there's a way to zoom out or hold Y during Protego.
So why is Protego? See that? That right there? Just... Um, oh! Oh, see, you can't... I don't know what... Like, right now, I'm backed up. See, I don't like this view. I can't... I don't know why I'm... Uh, I don't know what I'm hitting, guys. Let me know if anybody else had... trouble with this one at first. Wouldn't let me do Protego. Ah, there's a lot of guys here. How many of these dudes do I gotta take on? There's gotta be an objective. Other than just taking on a million of these guys. Oh, come on. I am getting worked, yo. Oh. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going to try to keep my colorful language limited on the first one. I'm just, uh, oh, let me know if it took anybody else a lot of tries to figure this one out. No, see, that's what I don't like. It's, uh, and I think that's that's a hundred percent me. Just not. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Is there a way out? Like, do I have to... Should I be running from these guys? Or do I... Have to fight all of them? Like, do I have to fight all of them? Or am I supposed to be trying to get out of here? It doesn't really... It doesn't really tell me.
This is getting tough. We're just going to keep going. I mean, I'll beat it sooner than later, right? Okay, so there's a little bit of a tell. They make some noise when they do that. Oh, man. I just can't get out of the way. I'm just Um, uh, is there a way out of here? I don't, I just, like I said, I can't f imagine the entire plot is just to sit and fight all these guys. <sighs> try again, <laughs> try again, try again. Oh man, this is getting tough. All right, we're going to try doing more. Man. I just need to do, like, Protego when I see them coming like that, because that's going to help me stun them. Okay. All right, I think I got to figure it out now, or at least a little better. Look at that. All I had to do was listen to the instructions. Oh, wow. I was getting a little worked up. So this is my obviously first time on a uh, on a gaming channel. So I'm trying not to uh, uh, get too uh, colorful with my language. Those of you who have watched our reaction channel knows that I have a, a colorful, colorful vocabulary. I'm trying my best. Um, with the gaming channel, just because I think we might have a little bit different audiences than some of our reaction channels might have. Um, I don't want, um, I don't ever want a parent to step in and have uh, the oak dropping F-bombs and stuff. So I'm really gonna do my best here, regardless of how frustrated I get to not uh, <laughs> to, to not go go nuts. But that one was tough. So if they give a piece of advice, uh, do your best to follow it because that's going to help you help you get through. Blood pressure was going up a little bit on that one, guys. Just just a little just a little bit. All right. Let's see. We're going to go in. Sorry, I was just double checking my uh, my screen here. You're gonna have to bear with me, guys. It's my first time ever playing Hogwarts. My first time playing Xbox, and probably uh, after the statues attacked us, debris that was left behind began swirling about. Somehow became separated. Okay, that's just telling me. Any regard. Um, I'm just going to check stuff out here. 
See what's what. Hey! Professor Fig! Yes, Godric's heart, I'm glad you're all right. I'm somehow back in the entry room to the vault. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. I'll keep Revelio. All right, we got to find a way to get that door open. This is curious. Whoa. Okay, we'll investigate that. Oof. What do we got here? Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Ah. Uh... memories. Oh, memories. How awesome was it when we got to see uh, Professor Snape's memories? Follow my lead. in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are ah. interested in box on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's well, that was cool. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Uh oh. Who were they? I we gotta know. throw down again. <laughs> uh oh. I gotta throw down with this guy. Look at those eyebrows. Impressive. My reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? Uh-oh. No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Ooh, look at its red eyes and those teeth. <laughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Ooh, I, straight out I of the 300. <laughs> the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh! 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 I am oh! Patient, 
hunts for traitors. That was not cool. No. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Uh oh, am I about ready for another throwdown? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? This is so crazy. Oh. Oh, what? What just happened? Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get <laughs> Hey, I made it! Yo! Did I make it to this? Sorting ceremony? Am I actually going to Hogwarts? <laughs> what a side quest before I got to go. There it is. Hogwarts Express. Ah -ha! I made it. Well, I can see it at least. I don't know if I made it, made it. But I can see it. Wow, what? that was that was the intro. That was just the intro. Honestly, and I've said this a, a couple times already, and I'll probably end up saying it a hundred more times, but yes, it's a video game, but it, almost, it feels like I'm part of a new movie, if that makes sense. Like a whole new adventure that I get to be part of. And I get that's exactly what a video game is, right? But it's a new Potter story. So it's extra exciting. It's not just like going into a video game where I'm going to be running around, you know, shooting guns or, you know, battling with a lightsaber. This feels like a new Potter story, which is really exciting for me. It's the sorting ceremony. Now, according to wizardworld.com. That seems more. Yeah, I got my outfit. Now. Yes. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact them. And anyhow, we did the uh, we did the sorting ceremony. I was Hufflepuff. I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Mason Quinn was Ravenclaw. Answer was uh, Slytherin because he chose a black cat. I think. Now I'm I'm not seeing Phineas, my jealous black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin. I missed the ceremony. I have no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Come on, I didn't miss the ceremony. We might still be able to get you sorted this evening. All right, cool. So what I was saying is that the game doesn't seem to have any uh, original characters or voices from the movies. Obviously, with Alan Rickman, that's not possible. The original Dumbledore, oh, Hagrid, rest in peace. Um, 
but I think this game would have been finished before he passed. But I understand that sometimes the video games, Professor different Weasley. licensing, they'd have One to pay more. to have everybody sit down and, and do the recording. So I know it's totally oh, different, but you're just in time. Have a seat. All right. Like I said, uh, all the stuff at the studio obviously is Gryffindor to show some love for Harry and Ron and Hermione. But I was Hufflepuff. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, <laughs> aren't you? This is so awesome. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, can't wait to explore. I'm forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Hmm. Mm. Dare it. Of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally dare. <laughs> this is so much fun. by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. I'll take that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yes. There was only two questions, but I will take it. You know, I'm going to take it. Better be Gryffindor. Yay. Hey, well, I'm already, I mean, you know, look at that. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has... No! Hey. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. I don't do that. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That's his way of saying get out. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student? Weasley. Today? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. I understand this. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Am. Never could remember oh, password. paintings are moving. Password. 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 The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. That's so cool. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you. Well, that, that's my entrance. It's like a tunnel. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. And sleep well.
Look at that. Woke up. Hair looks pristine. Let's head to the comb room. Got a little stove in the middle. Quest started. Welcome to Hogwarts. Find my common room. All right, I like the way they do this. Now, which way is the common room? This is really cool. They have like the yellow dots to follow. Oh, and the arrow, I suppose. Introduce yourself to Cresita. I'll introduce myself to this guy first. Sure, you don't want to try it. Gareth Weasley, that's a Weasley for sure. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. All right. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Oh, this is so cool. They let you choose how you want to reply. Too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's a little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butter beer and a Wiganwell potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. <laughs> Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right, look at that. We got Quidditch trophies, broomsticks. Who's that up there? I want to look around here a minute. Oh, well, uh, mosey on over here. Oh, hey. Okay, let's just spin in the globe. Shame you weren't born with wings. I'm sure you used to be. I'll never be able to live up to that. Still not let's working. Go. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, oh she's oh, a little well, frustrated. Hello. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're of Professor course. Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. So I really, I really love that they give you this chance to to kind of interact. And of course, like, look, I want to interact. I want to have you know this story play out as much as possible. So I'm not. You guys know me. I'm not just skipping out. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh yes, 
And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. My family Nelly is running so any day for a teacher. I can't do anything for like any moment. Okay, so how do I introduce myself to Nelly? She gets bolder she anyway. every year. I don't want to get in trouble the first day. No wonder everyone wants to catch it. Rebellion. Well, oh, probably didn't need to do that. Okay, so. I'm sure you use them. And so it's interesting. So the the right or the left keypad button does Rebellio. The right keypad button. I'm not sure what it does. It shows the just. Professor catches her this time. I don't know how I'm supposed to introduce myself to her or him. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly, please get down. Nelly, Okay, so this is curious. How do I? She gets bolder every year. Nelly. I hope the professor catches her this time. I don't want to get in trouble. Don't the fall off this time, Nelly. I hope the professor catches her this time. Okay. I don't know how to get I don't know how to do this oh there we go I just had to be in the exact right spot it's perfectly safe well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a breeze. Well, that's quite the impressive feat. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumours about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? It's true. I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But no. still, you got to see a dragon. A little anyway, too close for comfort. He certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. All right. Nice to meet you. Of course not. What are people saying? Not afraid of heights. Uh, have you ever encountered a dragon? That seems like the next logical step you in the conversation. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? <laughs> Most of us arrive by a train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. This is really cool, though, the conversation. I take it you're not afraid of heights. That's what I should have said mm, first, but... Something mm. I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds... 
You don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Oh, that's it. We're gonna say nice to meet you I'm sure to Nelly. Either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Oh, she seemed awfully you kind. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the <laughs> All the old OWLs. 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 Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Oh, uh, look at ghosts discuss, flying around. And the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Here you are. Oh, wow. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Follow Professor Weasley. All right. This way. The guide will give you opportunity <laughs> Look at that painting. and educate yourself about wizarding law. I want to see the paintings. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. God, these graphics are unreal. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of Paul <laughs> What is going on over there? <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. The portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Progress towards completing challenges appears here. All right. Collect field guide pages. Um, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. XP. That sounds like uh, my old Dungeons and Dragons stuff. So when I was younger, like a kid, uh, we had a neighborhood group who paid, uh, played Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. My older brothers, we all got together. It was a lot of fun. So let's open the field guide here. This is your wizarding level. Experience points earned from challenges increase your level and power. Okay. Your field guide tracks your challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay, so I can't select that, but I can select that. 
Okay, collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout the adventure will appear here. Select field pages to continue. Collect two field guide Hogwarts, excuse me, field guide pages in Hogwarts. Gear appearance reward. I mean, I probably should have gone with glasses off the get-go, right? Like I was trying to make him look like me, and now it's like, uh, should have gone. Uh, rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards after you have unlocked them. Okay. All right. We're going to go this way. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. What's this guy doing? How do they even design? I, I'm so just mesmerized. So mesmerized by the design of these games and the graphics and the detail and everything. This is so wild. And I get a lot of video games are like this, uh, but this is just crazy. Ah. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. <laughs> the guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right. Open map. There we go. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Select the south wing region to continue. Professor Weasley said she has more to show. I should follow her. All right. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal location of undiscovered flames. Return to map. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region. Professor Weasley says she has more to show. I should follow her to find out what she has in mind. Okay. I don't know how to select that. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. Use right to rotate the map and travel to the Central Hall Flu Flames with X. Oops, wrong button. X. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um, let's take a look here. You mentioned Hogsmeade. What's Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. 
What will I learn in Charles' class? Exactly. We're going to learn Charms' class. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever, entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell more about what defense is against defense against the dark arts? arts? The defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become warriors. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education. Ah, Hecate. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I think Professor Fix succeeded in at least showing you the basics. I think I got the basics. He's terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh. We did take a bit I'll of tell the truth. Way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. I figure the more I the devil, engage in these Fig, conversations, the more I'm going to learn about the gameplay. Oh. Yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I, say I chose the dragon's path. Chose it, right? Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Ah, Very that's well. about right. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And Thank you. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Okay, and field guide. Got invaluable it. Invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. She caught me off guard. Ah. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, I well, just realized now I spelled my name wrong. <laughs> it was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Oh no. Where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us understood professor i believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained happily you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you Speaking of guides, yeah, let's 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 so do this. I may avoid oh, it won't let me go to settings real Professor quick. Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. I am going to go to how do I go to settings here? Well, let's try this. Oh no, yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, that was a screenshot. Uh, how do I go to settings? We're going to open map. 
Okay, defense against the dark arts class. Field guide map shows Professor Hickett's class in lower. It's a charm compass. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will not be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments as quest rewards. Track a quest with A to continue. Field guide map showed Professor Hickett's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Your My own wand. Commander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. Lock for it. now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. All right, there we go. Settings. Menu reader. What is this? User interface options. Menu reader. Performance mode. What's performance mode? Oh, image calibration. No. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to go in and... Um, Accessibility options, menu reader, left-handed cursor, user interface options. User license agreement that I don't need to see. Up the field. Okay, so this is all. Collections, challenges, maps. I wonder if there's any way to change your name. Well, we will have to take a look at that later. This looks like it would be the one, but I don't see anything here. So. Show uninterested numbers. Sorry, guys, just trying to figure out if I can fix my name at all. I don't think gameplay options obviously is going to have anything. Okay, we are going to go back and I'm just going to continue on. Keep playing and we'll try to figure it later. I don't think I need that on really, but it's on anyhow. Let me 
Oh. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No oh, doubt looks you've heard just it. like the one that uh, no, went after him. Me. An old woman like me, me. single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation. Levioso. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing Levioso. I is unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Alright, I guess we're doing a suit of armor. Okay, here we go. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the damage deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Hmm. So I'm trying to cast Levioso. It won't let me do it. Oh, I see. When this is the basic cast, it's just when I tap it. I got it. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now. All right, let's go. Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Lucky. Lucky about Class, I was still paying attention. That is how you cast Levius. You good? Foul perception. Thank you. Ah, no, 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 no. Got it. Watch 
your channel for sign to attack or defend yourself. Got him! Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> nice. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Points to Gryffindor. How many? How many? I just give points. So tell me how many points. We can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelow's entirely. Entirely, Absolutely, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. I think uh, it's about, uh, I think that's a good spot for me to, to stop for today. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. We're going to figure it out. Restart from last game, and we are going to save current game in progress. Manual saving, auto saves might still be performed during the time. Okay. And we return from your current menu to the main menu. Auto saves. Well, I hope it auto saves me from this point. So restart from the last save. I'm going to exit to the main menu. Zero minutes, 51 seconds. Oh, unsaved progress. Yes. All right. Well, that was it. Oh, I did Appleton Oak. I must have put my name in wrong. So it's showing Appleton Oak here. And I wonder if that's my name or what's going on here i'm gonna have to get that figured out um in any regard uh, a lot of fun uh got to go along with making my character getting my start but um so this was really cool it was uh like i said it was kind of a, a chance to uh you dive into almost like new potter content if that makes sense i know it's a video game and it's kind of interactive but it also feels like you're making your way through a new movie. And this is this is pretty unique for me. So I, I did game, I don't want to say a ton, but enough um, pre-having my son. It was mostly Star Wars Battlefront, Call of Duty, Madden, stuff like that. Um, so this is similar-ish, I guess I would say, to story mode in Call of Duty, where you're going through, given tasks, things like that. Um, but again, this feels a lot more like a cinema production, if that makes sense, than video games that uh, that I'm used to, at least. So this has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's interesting, all new characters. So I feel like I'm starting completely over, um, a little bit reminiscent of when we went from all the Potter movies into the world of Fantastic Beasts. I mean, it was obviously still the same universe, universe rather. Um, of course, we had uh, Dumbledore as we went a little bit further into that. But other than that, I mean, just a, a new cast of characters. I'm my own person. So this has been a lot of fun. Uh, a little bit of trouble battling the knights, um, trying to, to kind of do it my own way as opposed to listening to the uh, the prompts. But once I figured that out, we got through it. But this has been a lot of fun. Made my way to Hogwarts, had my sorting class, was in Gryffindor as I was keeping my fingers crossed. Um, Technically Hufflepuff, according to Wizarding World, but I'll take Gryffindor for the sake of the game. But that's going to be it for today. Catch you guys in the next one.